myself up and put my knee on here. Matt's his man ski and practice with a different kind of conditioning. You're already tired from baseball, you're running, and then you have to try and climb over this, and sometimes it's just hard. For the last year, his team scaled fences after the foundation of this ramp on 97th Street and Shore Road collapsed. The Department of Parks and Recreation closed off the area, simultaneously blocking the most convenient entrance to the ball field St. Patrick's Catholic Academy, Fonfon, and Devarian High School's play on. We were hoping it was going to get done in the fall and winter time when there was nobody down here. Obviously, the springtime rolled around, and here we are again another 12 months later, and nothing has been done. Instead, people just keep climbing on over. Passing backpacks, bats, and even babies. This guy says it takes teamwork. My brother's usually with me, so I give it to him, jump over the fence, and he gives it to me. Parents say what's even worse than having kids teetering on the edge is that some people can't make the games. My dad comes to every single one of their sporting events, and he cannot, without a hill, he can't make it down. So he hasn't, this year, seen a baseball game yet. Because this entrance is closed, the next entrance is at Oliver Street or 100th Street but those require stairs. The nearest ramp entrance is about a half mile walk. It's a hike and an inconvenience. Parents are just hoping for some kind of quick fix this season, but the Parks Department says the ramp needs to be completely rebuilt and it needs to be wheelchair accessible, requiring a more complicated design. Is there a reason why you think it's been ignored for this long? Um, I'm not really sure what to think about it. Um, I, I really would have thought it would have been fixed. So there's, there's to me, no reason for it. St. Patrick's Catholic Academy sports program parents have been encouraged to file complaints. So far, there is no set date for construction to begin. For Currents, I'm Michelle Powers.